the meditations that uh, we do about the analyzation and all this, I was all talking about India because I was studying in India. But in Bhutan, since the Bhutan, uh, the nuns in Bhutan, they don't know much about the studies. So what they do is they go for a retreat. In the beginning, they go for a retreat. It is called Wondro in our language. It is a uh, in English. If I translate in English, I think it is called the beginning, the beginning of the practice, the basic practice. So they have to do five, four, four stages of that. So firstly, they start with the prostration. So this is also a one of the uh, meditation I mean yeah going for retreat so it's also a meditation because when they do the prostration they have to just uh, bring all the they have to be mindful and they have to bring all their body speech and mind together because while they do the prostration with the body they have to recite the mantras or the chanting from the speech and then they from the mind they have to visualize all the their root teachers, the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha, and then so it uh, it is like bringing all the body, speech, and mind together. So they do that uh, 100,000 times. So mostly uh, they prefer to go to another place to do this, where it is a sacred place. For example, like in Bodh Gaya or in Nepal, in Bodh Bodhanath, like was in front of the stupas or something so that it will be more merit to them, meritious. Because we say that if the object that we are prostrating is a very sacred one, then we can also make more merits. So after doing that, then they go to the solitary. So it is also a tight uh, retreat, so we cannot talk, it's complete silence. And most prefer to go very solid so that they don't see the people also like only the people who feeds them are the, the person who brings them food and helps them in their needs they can see only that and then in the beginning they also make a commitment that they can see the doctor so that in case they fall sick or something so after that uh, then they have many other stages like the mandala the offering of the water we do in the Tibetan tradition I think you must have seen the seven balls. So we do the mandala. And this morning, the time was also making the mandala gesture. He was teaching the children. So, but uh, when we do this 100, all we have to do 100,000 times. So when we do this, um, we don't do just with this gesture, but we have a special mandala things and all this. So we have to go in reciting. So we do like, four times a day, like early morning and then we stop for breakfast and in between the breakfast and lunch we do another time and lunch and after lunch we take a short nap and then we start again and after dinner again so it has to be early morning and late night otherwise it is very difficult to finish uh, while doing the prostrations uh, the monks usually does uh, 5,000 to 6,000 a day nuns 4000 i also did this prostration but i have to still go with the other so since i didn't get time so i'm thinking in one or two years i want to go and stay in a solitary and finish the other things i have done the prostration so i did also 4000 a day <laughs> in bodhgaya